In any case, that day has loomed with me, I'm sure, as it has with, with every American, and there are questions that are unresolved, questions like why those five helicopters were taking off after the first plane hit New York. Come to find out it was the Joint Chiefs of Staff evacuating the building. And I've always believed that the captain was the last one to go down to the ship. And why in the middle of an act of war would our leaders leave our biggest fort? The only thing I can come up with without being corrected, and maybe someday I will, this could be, I could be signing my own death warrant by bringing these things up, but the only calculation I can come up with on my own is that they determined the Pentagon would or maybe was a target and they needed to get their best and their brightest out, but they couldn't calculate the man hour loss if it was a false alarm, so they left us there. Unfortunately, the man hour loss was much greater by hesitating. They got their important boys out and they left the rest of us to chance. And that I hold very bitter against this establishment. I continue to work here because I have to provide for my wife and my family. But I think there's a lot more going on here than just a couple of crazy religious bastards.